Hello, YouTube channels. Once again, this is one of your favorites, as Sutter Gore, aka Lambert C. Davenport, coming with another God is King production. Today, it's interesting. We're going to talk about the rise of Islam. But guess what book is according to? It's according to the World History Encyclopedia, the Millennium Edition. So, in this Millennium Edition here, you can see... Of course, it is Mecca, where Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi was originally from, and he was a merchant, and we all know that his family was well-to-do, and etc. And <clears throat> he, I guess, he felt some same way that um, uh, the one from uh, Buddha, uh, Ghanim, felt. When his family was rich and wealthy and he saw people. So he extended to this cave right here. And this is uh, famous for the, uh, you know, the, the the web. Okay. And, you know, there we have is Al Mosque, the Blue Mosque in Jerusalem. And here is Damascus, which is in uh, Syria. And uh, what's interesting is over here is also talking about the Moors. So Islam did tolerate Jewish communities and Christian communities. So there is a fabrication that is going on. Now, the reason why the Quran speaks about Jews and Christians the way it does, is not talking about the traditional, the real, live, wow, should I say wow, like Christians and Jews. It is talking about the ones who claim to be Christians and Jews and took over this. Now, there's a thing that's interesting about Judaism is that Judaism is a very uh, old um, religion that actually supersedes Christianity. And to me, Christianity is not something that the one they call Jesus Christ promoted. Now, that's shocking for most people to hear Satagur said, but we have to understand something about Christianity. According to the book of Acts, right, which is a letter, a pistol letter written by this guy named Paul, who was in the elite club of the Sadducees, um, pharaohs and high priests and cetera had a, a, a more better plan. And what plan is that to do is the one that you call Jesus Christ, a.k.a. Yeshua, is to kill this man, then take his teachings and then reteach it. Okay, according to what you want to be the popular belief. So what this Paul did was he created this thing out of uh, out of trickery called Christianity, and it it was a mixture of, of Hellenistic Judaism and the paganist rituals that was in the times of the Constantine Empire. So when you mix those two together, you create Christianity. Out of Christianity, there is the thing called Catholics. So Catholics were the first, quote-unquote, Christians. And, you know, there's a mixture between the Catholics and the Orthodox Christians. And that's why you heard of the Krebs and the Pope. Now, this is interesting. These derived out of a land that was basically of melanin-skinned people. So why there's never been a melanin skin pope that we know of in the social media that they talk of or a melanin skin orthodox high archy person in orthodox Christians when they have a black Madonna and 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 in the black Jesus Christ in their temples and they talk about it's because of XYZ. Now Getting back into Islam, the reason why I wanted to do this, the rise of Islam, is that they have dates and times. Here is when the Prophet 
received the order in 1610, and he was given this belief. And then at 1612, now I want you to notice something here. Numbers are important. So for 12 years, he was given this in what was called Mecca. Now, was it really called Mecca? Because as we notice, he went to a place in 1612, and they called that the Hijra, which is when they started the Islamic calendar. Now, here's the problem. <clears throat> they did, but did Muhammad started the calendar? No, he didn't. So there's uh, obviously a council of elders that is above um, the Islam that we know of, that is above the prophet that we know of. It's always been counselors and elders in any society, people. Do not get fooled. Uh, they are called the counselors of elders. Has always been implemented. Now, look at the time. So 1610 to I mean, excuse me, 610 to 622, it's 12 year cycle, right? So this, as you know, this is the 12, this is the 12 years that was taught in what they call the Mecca um, verses of the Quran. So everything given in those 12 years are the verses of Meccan scriptures. Now, that doesn't mean that's the whole 114 surahs. He didn't receive that 114 surahs and the transition between Mecca and Medina, which is called Yagreb, right? Now, when he dies, when he dies at 632, right? We know he left a daughter named Fatima, all right, which is interesting to Christians with Fatima as well, um, especially the Catholics. But now you look at it, 622 and 632. So how many years is that apart? 10 years. So now let's do the math. Those 10 years he's in Yagrip. Right, those are called the Medina scriptures, or should I say, they all know why they don't want to say Yagreb, but I do know why because when you do add up, there's mystery here. When you do add up the years of the prophets given the, 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 the Quran, and the Quran was complete, by the way, in 22 years. Isn't that amazing? 114 surahs of this Quran was complete in 22 years. Now here's something interesting. Let's look at this right here. This is Yagrip, right? And the year is 622. Now, I'm going to do something for y'all real quick, and I know this is jumping and shaking and stuff like that. And this has nothing to do with basically destroying the belief of Islam, because Islam taught me a lot. So I will never, ever truly disrespect the prophet by falsification things. So we have times, right? And I'm going to put the medium time. Right? And also this called the Hedra. This is when they start their calendar, quote unquote, right? This is uh first revelations. This is should I say end of revelations. Okay, and complete Quran. Quran, right? With sewers one hundred and fourteen. Okay, so now, here we go. Let's do some numbers. Okay, so we have 1610, which was the first revelations. That's what I call it, right? That the prophet received. So from here to here, 
this is uh this is from here to here this is the hydro so here he is he's in Yagra. that's what we're gonna call it we know it's mecca medina excuse me this is mecca here okay so when he's at Yagra, right which is called medina right so here is 12 years right that's 12. so when he came to medina to the end of his life these are the these are the medina scriptures of the quran so here's the, the scriptures of quran here's the scripture look at this number here remember this number okay now from that is 10 right so when you add this together 12 and 10 look at this number it's it is 622 now i want y'all to look at that so that right there we're going to put it down here that's 22 right 22 years right it took the quran the quran was formed in 22 years now look at this the sewer how many sewers are in the quran is 114 so let's do something that the Europeans took from, of course, from Kemet, called the Pythagorean mathematical equation. So we go one, we go, so let me write it down for you so you can understand it. One plus one plus four equals, so one plus one plus four equals, look at this number, six. Now, it took them 22 years. So now, let's put this here. So now, we see that the Quran had to do with when he came to Yagreb. Now, this makes it interesting. This has nothing to do with trying to break the faith of Islam and break the thing of the Quran. But this is interesting when you do the whole mathematics, which it comes up to here. Now, perhaps this is why they changed the name from Yagrip to Medina. Why? Because there's a thing with Y versus M. Okay? There's a thing of this. Y versus M this Y would bring you to a thing of Bala, okay? In Bala, this would come into the Orthodox Christianity that Bala believed in. So, when you take Y, and I, I learned this from somebody, it's a long tail. You take Y out and you cut off the tail, it has V, right? V, right? So V Ya Va Ya Vu Ya Va Ya Sharu, you understand what I'm saying? So the thing of the Quran confirming and reciting the parables of the ancient order is it's connected. That's what I want to say. It's already connected. There's nothing they now let's do Pythagoras mathematics. On this. Now, what happens? 6 plus 2 plus 2 equals 10. Isn't that, isn't that pretty amazing? Now, here's a funny thing. Now, if you want to do some something that works within the Kabbalah, right? You have 22 years the Quran was created. And you have that other 10 years that we added up, which come out to 32, right? Which equals five, right? Now, this is why the hand symbol, they say, as some would say, means Allah, right? Now, 
Why? Because there's five fingers in the large one. Look at that. A, two, three. Look. So one, two, three, four, five. Right? With the hands. Meaning that Allah created the hands. This is why he talk about the fingerprints. Okay? So this is a quick whole mythology now with the whole symbol. Now, we also understand that this is also four, right? And this is one, right? Now, where, now, if this is one, four, right? This is one, meaning that this talks about the one created. And these are the four foundations of the earth, of the world, once again. By the way, y'all, the reason why I feel that, and this is just my uh, feeling, the reason why they changed um, Medina, I mean, changed Medina into, um, from Yagrip, or, right, the reason why they changed it here, because it tells you, here is Yagrip. Why did they change it to Medina? It's a reason for that. It's like when you want to change a neighborhood and you don't want to show the, um, the correlation of something, you change the name. You change the name. So right here is 622, which is important. And I broke that down for y'all already by adding these two years here. And, and basically adding the swords, which you come up to 622. So it was in Yagrip, right? It was here that made the Quran complete. It was in Yagrib. And they wanted to take this Yagrib out and put it in Medina to confuse the people of why Yagrib is important. Now, look what they say. Muhammad had several. So, look what they say. They say, the, the Council of Elders say that his journey there is commemorated as the Hijra, which, look, begins the Muslim calendar. So, let me ask you a question. If Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us, that fast, right? It's in a fixed time when you fast, a fixed time, and you took away Yagra. You also took away this this person. Yeshuda. So once again, this is another one of Savagua saying Assalamu alaikum, hotep, shalom, and peace be upon the people who will watch my YouTube. This is a quick shaking up and down thing. But Muhammad, as some people would say, um, perjurized the, the books of the old. He didn't perjurize it. It was just this book, the Quran, it's just so well um, given that it goes in, it's the key to all the belief systems out there in the world. That's all I can tell you because I'm amazed by the Quran. And the more that I read the Quran, the more it opens me up to all the other prophets that was given around the world. I take it as a very collective part and link to us and the Creator. And this is another one of things but I also want to leave y'all with remember that the Hebrew language is built of 22 letters okay and human beings was created on the sixth day so this whole thing is about us spiritually our foundation in everything once again, Sarah Gould, a.k.a. Lambert C. Davenport, leaving y'all with something to think about. And don't 
curse the Muslims, please. And the Muslims, remember, <clears throat> it is written in the Quran, if you believe in the Quran, it is written that it is Allah who brings us to the foes of Islam. Not you, You're not born into Islam. I don't, don't even think because you have a parent that they're Muslim. They're Muslim by human standards, not by the creator standards. I leave y'all with that. And I give y'all, because I wasn't born into um, a Muslim family per se. Look at the word. It's a word. It's a word. And it's a word that's been before the prophet. This is why they changed um, Medina from Yagreb. To break away the, the, the association of the Al-Qatab people with the Quran. This is, this is foolishness. This is one word of the creator throughout the whole world. It's the same thing. It's consistent. I leave y'all with that. And to my brother Hafiz and y'all, continue. And I hope it be more and more Hafiz of the Quran. So when they do what they do, we have Hafiz. Peace and blessings to the family of the world.